All right, guys, Friday, we made it through week two of quarantine wads. Uh, today, we're going to destroy your legs. So um, pay attention closely to how we might scale this. What's nice about today is that uh, it won't feel so bad going through it necessarily, but you'll feel it through the weekend, which will be great for some of you who miss being really sore. Most of you probably got sore throughout the week anyway. All right, here's what we got. Warm up, three rounds, 10 air squats. 10 alternating rear lunges, so that's five per side, and then 10 kneeling hip extensions. Go to the range of motion that doesn't cause any pain, if those of you that might struggle with some knee pain. And then 30 foot crab walk in the direction that you face. So the concept behind that last one is to get your hamstring to kind of pull you forward in the crab walk and not to walk backwards where you're pushing away the whole time. All right, so that's the warm up, three rounds of that. Then you go into our leg decimator. So you're gonna do three sets, of three tempo lunges. These tempos are 10 seconds down, 10 seconds in the bottom, 10 seconds up, no seconds at the top. So you just go right into the next rep for three reps, okay? Um, you will start with your feet together and step back lunge. It will just be really slow. 10, nine, eight, and so on. When you get to the bottom, you're not just gonna rest your knee on the ground and alleviate weight. You're gonna hover that knee off the ground by about an inch to two inches and hold that for 10 seconds. This is where the burn really starts to impact you, right? And then come up for 10 seconds. Scaling wise, you can scale the tempo to less of a tempo if you're able to complete full range of motion lunges, but that duration is just too intense. Or you can um, use support. So wrap a towel around the tree and then grab onto that towel. And that could kind of help support and alleviate some of your body weight as you both pull and press off the floor. Um, that's just one way to do it, but any way that you find a way to relieve weight is great, um, even if it's just someone helping you out. Um, and then you go into three rounds of 15 single leg glute bridges followed by 15 single leg deadlifts. Now the way you do it is you do your right leg, both movements, then you go to your left leg, both movements, and that's a single round. You do three rounds of that. There is no designated rest. Um, that being said, it's kind of a superset idea. The idea is to get both movements done on one leg and then rest, then do both movements on the other leg and rest, but try to rest minimally um, to accomplish the work, all right? Um, make sure that those glute bridges stay with full hip extension. If you're not extending your hip all the way, then I recommend you rest. It's not a four-time workout or anything, so there's no pressure on that. Make it quality, full range of motion glute bridges and your glutes will thank you, solely your hamstrings. Um, after that, you'll go into three rounds of 10 Cossack squats and 10 curtsy lunges. Those are the same idea. Do the Cossack squats only to one side, not transferring over all the way to the other side. Go to neutral and then come back. Um, and then right side cur curtsy lunges only. All right? Doing this um, will basically work the inside and outside of the hip. So they're a contrasting movement in that aspect, but you're also leg strengthening the whole time. Um, so again, just like the one before that, Try to do them back to back and then rest, um, but go with minimal rest possible. Um, the last thing that you'll do is three rounds, 15 Bulgarian split squats on one leg, 30 second wall sit, 15 Bulgarian split squats on the other leg, 30 second wall sit, that is one round. Uh, you'll do three rounds of that. And you guys know what's about to be burning from that. That's definitely the front side of the legs, all right? Um, so three rounds of that again, resting as needed, but try to make sure that you hit the Bulgarian split squat wall sit and then you're allowed to rest, but you shouldn't be resting between the Bulgarian spot, split squat and the wall sit at all, all right? Um, try to rest minimally to accomplish the work. The cool down for today is going to be three rounds, 30 seconds couch stretch. You can literally use your couch for that. Um, and then 10 pigeon rocks. So basically the concept with the pigeon rock is to cross your knee in front of you and just kind of rock back and forth so that the capsule where the hip and the femur unite kind of gets re-lubricated after uh, some of the work that you've done, after it might be tightened, tightening up with some of the muscle inflammation from the work. All right, so that's kind of the idea of the pigeon rock. And then you go into a 30 second handstand straddle. The idea here is to work on your straddle with some sort of assistance. And in this case, the assistance is gravity because you're upside down. You can go into a headstand straddle with the support of a wall still, or you can just do a seated straddle. That's totally fine. Just do a seated straddle, get the stretch in, or standing straddle would even work. 
right? But the point is to just be into a straddle position, which is spreading your legs apart wide with the legs straight, all right? Three rounds of that, and that should cap off your week nicely. Um, hopefully you guys are still working the quarantine wads and doing the competition and enjoying yourselves um, and some of the new opportunities that you have that you didn't have before. More to follow next week.